My name is Daniel Galmish and I had four Michelin star restaurants. Been brought up in a lovely environment in France, in the east of France, Franche Comté, where I learned a lot about the produce through my great auntie with her farm. Simple is actually not that easy unless you have the right produce. This is for me the key. Steak, chips, salad. Grilled uh, sirloin steak with some beurre maître d'hôtel, which is a classic butter with herbs and a bit of lemon. First, beurre maître d'hôtel, which is the best way. So we've got obviously butter, lemon, lemon zest, salt, pepper, herbs, tarragon. It's a very classic. It's very gorgeous. It goes really well with rump, which we've got in here. Beautiful rump steak, which is going to be grilled. Chips, which we're going to make. Some of them pre-prep, but this one there. So. Butter, I need all this butter. But the thing with that butter, when we make it, you can keep, keep it. Need to be soft room temperature, as you can see, much easier. Off go the zest, in goes the juice, touch of salt, touch of pepper. You can use white pepper if you want. I don't mind this one because I like to see the pepper within the butter. You mixed. It goes really well with steak. And the, the advantage as well, the, the lemon acidity will cut through. Little bit of herbs in here. Actually, lots of herbs. And tarragon. Tarragon, you just have to pull like this. There, just pull up. Up, great. Goes in, goes in, okay? Mix the whole lot. And uh, alre already I can smell the tarragon is in it. It's really nice. So imagine when, you, when that is melting on the top of your steak. Really wonderful. Very easy to do. Okay? Dry my hand, obviously. Look at that. Very beautiful. Cling film. So the good thing with this butter, cling film. Here we go. There. Oh, you do it like that. Much easy. Now, butter goes in. You spread it a little bit. It's easier. And you're going to roll it. So it gives you like a, a, a roll of butter. And you put in a freezer. And what is practical with it, when you need it, remove it from the freezer. Cut it. Okay, let's spread it a little bit, like this. Voila. You roll it. You put it in here, press a little bit there. Like that. Don't need to be fancy. That's it. And after that, you press on both hands like this, and you just roll it on the thing. Yeah? and keep it like that and you put in the freezer. So I've got already one made, I will use later on. No need a cling film anymore. Okay, now potatoes. A nice flowery potatoes is good. Desiree, Maris Piper, really nice. So let's cut the chips. It's for home, nothing is formal. Nothing needs to be exactly the right size, obviously, yeah? Cut them in chips like that. Try to have, oh, obviously a little bit of the same, so they all cook together. That's the advantage. Water is on. You need to blanch them. That's the key. Let's cut another one. Okay. Obviously, be careful not to cut yourself because it's always dangerous. You can put them in two as well, which is easy. Okay. Voilà. That's it. The rest you keep. Mashed potatoes if you want, something like that, you know. This is uh, blanched. So here we go. Okay. Et voilà. Superbe. So blanche, you need about six to eight minutes, so, uh, which is fine. So we're going to leave them for one minute. Yeah, let's clean the board. 
Now, rump. Beautiful rump. I like rump steak because it's really a lot of flavor. So you need to make sure that when you buy your rump steak, you ask your butcher to make sure that it gives you a really nice tender so some of the sinew are already gone because uh, otherwise it's too much, you know. Oil is already there as well, so I need to put that down and stop. So, steak, room temperature, always better for everything you do because it's much easier to cook and also the meat doesn't stress and suddenly the muscle retract and it's undeniable. Put that on the board and cut a little bit the sinew there. Okay. Like this little bit in here, in here, so what it does, the steak doesn't curve on the grill like this. Beautiful. Okay, so, sea salt. Sea salt always last minute, obviously. It's much easier. A bit of black pepper. I love black pepper. Voilà. Hop. Turn it. Okay, grill is on. And that's a fierce one. Voila. Okay. So, so we've got a batter, we've got a steak, room temperature, season. Chips are being blanched. And as you can see, I mean, we already prepare some because it's easier. So after you blanch them, put it in a blast chiller or in a fridge and let, let them for a few hours. And after that, take them out in a fryer for 140 degrees for a couple of minutes. After that, withdraw, 180 degrees, and you do your chips, okay? So we're going to take that out in a second there. Not quite ready. I need a touch of oil in here. So uh, I don't need a lot of oil because it's, uh, it's on a grill and you don't want it to smoke all over the place, like that. Okay. Let's remove this. Beautiful. Okay. So you've noticed as well that I don't keep the water next to the fryer. It's very dangerous. So make sure it's far apart. Very important. Okay. And that will go in the blast chiller. You can see they're almost all the same size. Really, really great. I'll put that later on in a blast chiller. Okay. Now, that is really good for the chip, that is ready, and that almost ready. To check if it's ready, you just put it on. Like that. And you hear the grease. It's really good. Okay, great. Salad. Very straightforward, very, very simple salad, okay? A little bit of salad in here. Like this, touch of salt, touch of black pepper there, a touch of olive oil, I need a spoon, that's much easier for me. Let's check that on, okay. A little bit more, I love olive oil, it's really good. Okay, and a little bit of uh, sherry vinegar. I like a bit the acidity and it will help to cut all through the, rich, the richness of everything there. Actually, I need that uh, to make, to mix. Uh, so one thing as well, don't do your salad too, too, too much in advance because the acidity will cook it a little bit and all the leaves will, will collapse. So it's not very nice. Okay. So what I like, what I like when we do steak like this, is this. You can see that. So you crisscross it like that, yeah, and it give you a nice kind of square carriage. It looks pretty. I mean, it doesn't make difference into cooking. You know what I mean? But I like to do that. So, okay, let's check the chip if it's ready. Okay. So they've been blanched, as we said, yeah. Voilà, better doing like that so you don't burn yourself. And that's to we remove them later on. 
Okay, so you can uh, you can uh, do them in three stages, um, and uh, they are much more than the look at the color, beautiful. Yeah, so you cook it obviously the way you want. If you want it uh, well done, if you want it medium, medium rare, rare, uh, uh, just have to to check by pressing in here. So harder it become um, when when you press. Uh, so that's like what we do. Uh, we do like that, you know, and you check your muscle there. So that's well done. That's medium well. That's medium, that's medium rare, and like that is rare. So remember, okay? So rare, medium rare, medium, medium well, well done. And you see this muscle in here. When you press the muscle there, and you check in here. So here I can tell you that it's medium rare. It's like that. Okay? And more it's become hard, more it's cooking. All right? So it's just uh, for you. Be practical. So chips are on okay not quite ready for the second time in here it's cooking really nicely there oh we're going to uh, you realize as well that I didn't put a lot of fat no need to it's a non-stick grill and the reason behind that don't forget on the top at the end we're putting this lovely uh, lemon and herb butter so you don't need more fat into it okay very important right so this one go back in in here you're not ready, not yet, but soon. Okay, I'll push a little bit more heat underneath in here, being careful. Okay, steak is ready. We're going to rest it in here. Happy with that. Look at that beautiful look. That's what I said. You see, when you crisscross like that, gorgeous. So you let it rest a little bit and the muscle will relax. Don't forget, it's always uh, a piece of meat is a muscle. So uh, uh, the, the first thing you need to do, like we said, room temperature first, much easier. It doesn't stress the meat so much. It doesn't shrink. It doesn't tie it tight, you know, become tight. Uh, so you don't want that. So just like relax. And after that, you rest your meat. So you, you will just relax. The muscle will relax. And after that, you can enjoy a lovely, lovely beef. Yeah. Okay, that is cooking now. We're going to put them back and they should cook really, really nicely now. Okay. Voila. Happy days. Football match kind of food. So when that is ready, steak is resting, salad. That's it. We've done. Grilled steak, salad and chips. Wonderful. And the butter. Not to forget the butter. Okay. I need a couple of minutes in here to have them really well. And voila, I'm going to put the come and prepare the salad. Like that. Look at that. Ooh. 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 Wow. Ooh. Okay. Chips ready. Look at these beauties. Touch of salt. Steak on the plate. There. Okay, so what you can do when the butter is made like that, you just cut it straight. Like that. With the cling film. Okay. After that, you just take the cling film. Look on the top. And what it's going to do? It's going to melt slowly and give you so much flavor. Chips ready. Look at that. Absolute gorgeousness on the plate. My kind of food. Happy days. Steak, chips, salad. So there we have it. Salad, steak. Bermet d'hôtel is going to melt really nice and chips.